Hello everyone, this is John. Welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing a frozen pizza. This is not just any frozen pizza. This is a little bit unique in a few ways, and let me describe to you how. This is Surfer Boy Pizza. If you are not familiar with Surfer Boy Pizza, this is actually a Stranger Things um, pizza place. Um, it's this uh, this character right here. He works at this pizza place called Surfer Boy Pizza. You know, he's kind of got like a, a valley stoner accent to himself. Um, but it's a fictional pizza place inside the reality of the world of Stranger Things. You know, a, a mid-80s pizza place. Um, but this is not actually a real place. It is created by, let's see this, Palermo's. Palermo's is a pizza place in Milwaukee that also does their own brands of frozen pizzas. Um, you might be familiar with um, one of their other families of brands. So they have the regular Palermo's, they have Screamin' Sicilian, which is really good, they have Urban Pie, which is really good, they have Connie's Pizza. It's interesting because Connie's is actually a Chicago area pizza chain. Um, but it seems like they license their name out to Palermo's to make frozen pizzas. Um, and then you also have this new one, Surfer Boy Pizza. Now, if you're from Chicago, you might also think, well, there's Palermo's in Chicago. There's actually like three different um, pizza restaurants in Chicago with the name Palermo's. And I have not been able to see any real connection. Um, their logo of their brands are different. Of course, they, they some of them use the same like Italian uh, red, white, green um, color scheme, but there's no reference to each other, and the logos are far enough away that I don't think there is a a definite uh, connection. Maybe somewhere along a family line, someone broke out from one another. Uh, they all seem to be like a Sicilian type pizza. Um, for their original anyway, but for the Stranger Things one, uh, this Surfer Boy pizza is actually supposed to be a hand-tossed style crust, you can see right here. Now you can see the box it was kind of designed to look like a pizza box, like a delivery pizza box. I thought it would have been cool if like they designed the box so it opened around and then you could like open it this way so it resembled a, a pizza box when you opened it like that. You know, it just had like the regular pull strip this thing that regular uh, frozen pizza boxes uh, tend to have. Um, but this flavor is also interesting because it's pineapple jalapeno. This is the first time I've ever seen a frozen pizza that had pineapple on it. Um, I've seen ones that had pepper uh, that had jalapeno on it. Those are rare, but I've seen them. Um, but this is the first time I've seen a frozen pizza that had pineapple on it. There's other frozen pizza out there that has pineapple on it. Let me know um, because I don't think I've ever seen it before. Anyway, this uh, was made in Milwaukee at the um, Palermo's headquarters where they distribute all their things. On the back has this little cutout so you can wear um, the fake glasses um, from the show. Let's say. You gotta see it to believe it, my dude, which is one of his lines that this character says. Um, the actual picture of the pizza and the pizza itself don't look too far off from each other. Uh, there is a quite a bit of uh, length of the crust here, but I think for hand toss, that is what you'd expect. Um, as far as tasting and review goes, I will let you know that I've already had one of the pizzas, um, the Supreme Pizza, um, because I needed to get make a quick dinner for the, the boys in the family, so that's what I made, and uh, I wasn't going to review all four of them on camera, I was just only going to review this one because I thought it was interesting. But anyway, here is the Stranger Things Surfer Boy Pizza with pineapple and jalapeno. And underneath it says pineapple and mild jalapeno, so 
Don't think it'll be too, too spicy. Here you go. Let's have a taste. It's very like crisp exterior, but like loud bubbles on the inside that make it airy and soft. Like I'll probably push my fingers all the way through to the other end with no problem. It holds very nicely. The outer crust is very crisp, but it's not like the the crispy part is like crackery crispy, but the overall dough is not thin like a cracker. I'm gonna taste the jalapeno by itself. Um, on the pizza, I really get much spice at all. I'm gonna taste it here. They might as well be like bell peppers because those have absolutely no spice to them at all. The pineapples have a sweetness to them, a little, a little tartness to them as well, like a typical pineapple would. No. Although uh, the jalapenos on here were, were, were not great spice-wise, a few things that I'd like to point out um, from this one and the other one I've had too, because the same thing is happening here. The sauce on here is pretty tasty. That was the same for the sauce on the other one. And typically when I think of frozen pizza, I usually don't think of complimenting the sauce. Frozen pizza sauce is usually, there's not a lot of it there. It's just there to make it look like a pizza. Um, and the sauce won't like be as liquidy as this is, where you could like kind of like scoop a little bit out and taste it. And I got to compliment uh, the Palermo's people here on the sauce on this one. It has a little bit of a sweetness to it but still the richness umami of a tomato sauce. The cheese is okay. Nothing um, too spectacular to write home about the cheese itself. But really, my favorite two things about the surfer boy pizzas that I've tasted so far on this one and the other one is the crust and the sauce. It has a nice crunchy exterior, airy interior. It's not doughy. And the sauce is actually an important part of the overall flavor. So, is it the best frozen pizza I've ever had? No. But for being like a licensed novelty brand, it's actually pretty good. The sauce and the crust both get thumbs up for me. If you see this, by the way, these are only in uh, Walmarts, which I don't know why Walmart all of a sudden is getting like all of these limited edition things that are um, interesting, like the Van Lee ice creams or uh, 
what's the, they had the um, the Chuck E. Cheese pizzas were there for when they first came out. Though you can get Chuck E. Cheese pizzas in other places now that I've seen, but the the one bite pizzas they were only in Walmart. And also, I just found out the rapper Lil Yachty is having their, his own pizza brand as well. That's going to be exclusive to Walmart. So it seems like Walmart has all these exclusive pizzas for some reason or another. Um, and this one's pretty good. Anyway, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you on the next one, whatever that may be. Until then, bye.